So what's the role of the Holy Spirit in the life of unbelievers? Go with me to John chapter 16, verse 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It's to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper, that's another name for the Holy Spirit, will not come to you, but if I depart, I will send Him to you. And when He has come, listen, He will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Can you see that? He will convict the world of sin. So what's the role of the Holy Spirit in the life of unbelievers? Conviction. Can you see that? How many of you know John 3 verse 16? For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believed on Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. But what does verse 17 say? For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. Can you see what He says? God did not send His Son to condemn, but to save. The Holy Spirit doesn't come to condemn, but comes to convict the world of sin. Listen very carefully. When you go out and you talk to sinners, you cannot antagonize and evangelize at the same time. Is that right? There's a big difference between conviction and condemnation. Do you know what condemnation is? Can I explain that to you? Here's what condemnation is. I'm trying to make it really simple for you to understand. Condemnation, do you have a car? What car do you have? Uh, Ford Fusion. Ford Fusion. What's your name? Focus. Matthew. Matthew. <laughs> All right. Ma Matthew has two cars. He's got a Ford Focus and a Ford Fusion. All right. <laughs> Pick one. Which one is it? Focus. Focus. All right. Let's focus. All right. So if I go and I steal Math Matthew's Ford Focus, what will you call me? A thief. A thief. Why will you call me that? Because I stole your car. Is that right? So every time Matt sees me, he says, there is that thief. So what he's doing is he's giving me a new identity according to my trespass. And every time he calls up my trespass or my identity, it brings condemnation because I know I'm guilty. You see that? So condemnation is to take on an identity according to a previous Trespass. Let me help you understand that. Because after you got born again, the scripture never calls us sinners again. But it calls us sons and daughters of the Most High God. So if you say, I'm a sinner saved by grace, you are still taking on an old identity according to a previous trespass, and then you live under condemnation and not under conviction.